now at 11, body camera footage. This shows the moments leading up to four children being rescued from an apartment fire. Unfortunately, we now know that two of them have died and a nine month old is on life support. That's right. And WCPO 9 News reporter Jake Riles walking us through this footage tonight and also the impact a deadly fire has on first responders. Well, the apartment door now boarded up a visual reminder of the challenges some of these first responders had when responding to the fire with four kids inside. This is the perspective. Is there anybody else in the apartments upstairs? The right -hand side, we don't know. Of Westchester police officer Michael Bullock. Is anybody in there? The heat melted the vinyl siding. The window to the left of the front door busted open. 15 seconds later, Officer Bullock kicks open the door. Is anybody in there? Then stays low. His shouts go unanswered. 35 seconds after breaking down the door, the fire department is rolling up. There's hot coals right inside of the right. I can't verify if anybody's in here. I kicked open the door. I can't see, but it's two there. feet in there. Westchester Township Fire Chief Rick Prince. You can't see your hand in front of your face, so it's all by feel. They initiated a search and uh, immediately started removing some victims. The four kids unresponsive. Firefighters and paramedics perform CPR. Then the update came Wednesday. A four-year-old boy and two-year-old girl died. Yeah, it's a tremendous blow uh, to us as firefighters and paramedics because we train extensively to save lives. Lieutenant Kleinfeld's body camera appears to show a black SUV driving up to the scene. Oh, it's right there. It's here. Oh! The woman reportedly responsible for the children arrives and can be seen for a brief moment running to the apartment. Check upstairs. Fires in that one right there. An unimaginable scene for first responders. <clears throat> when you have children of your own and you have to deal with that on the scene of someone else's kids, but you still relate because you're a parent. Chief Prince remembers. It was Thanksgiving Day in 2007. Three children were killed in a fire. Firefighters then, he said, didn't deal with PTSD the way they do now. We work hard up front to get ahead of that by bringing in these peer support people. We actually have a pet therapy team coming in, I think, next week. Uh, to sit with these folks and let them debrief and, and counsel with each other a little bit and help them relieve some of that stress. As for charges. Can't answer for the police department, but I would imagine there would be. The case is now in the hands of the Westchester Police Department investigators. They could file charges or it could be sent to Butler County prosecutor to file charges or ultimately to the grand jury. I spoke with the Butler County prosecutor and he tells me and at this point it is still too early to file any charges. Jake Ryle, WCPO 9 News.